Hey guys, welcome to this special video guys and Marco Fabian has been transferred to Frankfurt guys uh, a German team in the Bundesliga and Chivas already confirmed it and let's face it guys I know a lot of Chivas fans because we're fighting on uh, the relegation though you, you guys didn't want Marco Fabian to leave but it was just a matter of time guys if Chivas did not sell Marco Fabian uh, in this transfer window, he would have gone for free in uh, in August because he only had six more months of contract with Chivas. And I think it's better that Chivas got, uh, got him uh, on a transfer feed because if not, they would have got no money for him. And besides, Marco Fabian, since he started doing so good since his young career, he always wanted it to go to, to Europe. And what stopped him, it was Chivas. Chiva, he liked Chiva so much. He he owned everything to Chiva, so he he wanted to stay to Chiva. That's why when Chepo de la Torre was manager and they and they asked him to stay so they could fight relegation, he accepted it. He signed he signed a new contract with them, and now the contract is, it was about to expire. So for me, guys, um, I don't see a problem for him to go to Europe. I hope he does good, guys, and. That's probably one of the reasons that I think um, Chivas didn't want to sell Angel Reina because Angel Reina was going to go on the Mexican draft and he was going to go um, into Toluca. And what I, I think it mostly happened was that Chivas uh, got noticed that the deal was done with um, with Marco Fabian. So they decided to keep uh, Angel Reina because if they cannot get any other players, then um, they're gonna keep Angel Reina and give him a second chance, which, which I'm not. I'm actually not like ang I'm angry about Angel Reina staying. He's a good player, although he just was separated for the team because he was being a rebel. But you know, guys, um, every player has that in in their moments. If he gets uh, his game in, into his head and he continue and he puts his mind. And plays good I think he could be a very good replacement for Marco Fabian because he has the talent to do it and I was watching um, watching folk sports last night and Rafa Marquez Lugo the um, the striker that used to play for Chivas he got retired because of an injury now he's a he's a commentator on folk sports he was saying that Angel Reina has been one of the best players he has trained with and he uh, he thinks that he should be given a second chance so guys, Marco Fabian, I know I'm talking about Angel Reina too, but Marco Fabian being transferred to the Liga, to the Bundesliga, I think it's it's a very good thing, guys. Uh, don't see it all bad. Uh, we did have Gulli Peña and, and Pineda uh, in Chivas. So hopefully Chivas gets a new signing from some other teams uh, that are playing in Europe. Like they could go for Arce, um, Pedro Arce. He's playing in the Grace League. Um, along with Pulido, so Chivas can still go to try to get Pulido and stuff. So not everything is a bad thing, Chivas. Uh, with Chivas, with the money they got for Marco Fabian, they could go for play for players, guys. And like I said, if Chivas wants to hire uh, more players, uh, there are not because they cannot hire players. They are playing in the Liga MX. That draft already happened, so that's like a big no no. It's not gonna happen. They will not be able to uh, hire players from the Liga MX anymore. Okay, um, so they have to sign from outside of Mexico. So they could still ask for um, Eric Torres on a loan because if you guys know the uh, the MLS already it's over and they get a this big vacations without playing and some players do go on a loan uh, trying to get some game play so they can keep their rhythm. So I think Chivas could ask for Eric Torres on a loan. And she was already done this guys when when Omar Bravo was in Kansas City uh, they asked uh, Kansas City for Omar Bravo on a loan and he did play for Chivas into May when the MLS was gonna start so it, it can happen guys and then um, if they also want to ask for another player on a loan or even get him it's Gonzalo Pineda guys he has been so good for um, Seattle Sanders so I think that that could be a very good option uh, just to have uh, those new new guys in Chivas. Um, also, guys, there's um, there's other uh, Mexican American.
players that can play in Chivas in the MLS. They can still go. And like I said, it could go for Pulido, Arce, guys. So, um, But overall, guys, I don't see uh, Marco Fabian going out of Chivas as a bad thing. Um, I hope he does very good over there along with Chicharito. And I think their match is going to be around April or May. I'm not sure uh, whether they're going to be facing each other again in the Bundesliga. So uh, it's, we're going to be watching two um, ex um, Chiva players um, in a match. So that, that would be good, guys. Um, so I hope you guys have liked this video, guys. I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the gameplay, which are penalty shootouts, guys. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay. I was playing with Marco Fabian in his new team, guys. And it will be amazing to he see his new card in Ultimate Team, and especially if you guys are gonna build those hybrids with Chich Inform Chicharito um, and Marco Fabian as a transfer card uh, pretty soon, uh, probably in January. That we're gonna see them so next month those transfer cards guys so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you guys next time have a very good day and i'll leave you with a gameplay adios